Well, after weeks of hearing them and having them crash into our cars, many Marylanders are ready for the cicada season to come to a close. But how much longer will they stick around? So joining us this morning with more is the bug guy, Dr. Michael Rock. Good morning, doctor. Good to see you again. Good morning, Theo. How are you doing today? I'm all right. All right. So I've been hearing and seeing the cicadas less and less. What's the latest? Yeah, you know, for the cicada files, it's really a sad time, Theo, because they're about finished. But for the cicada folks, good news. Uh, the end is just around the corner. So we're starting to see uh, fewer and fewer up in the treetops. Uh, the choruses, the loud racket, uh, the big boy band is shutting down. They're in their last performances right now. And we're seeing more cicadas on the ground. So it means that we're winding cicada season down. I think in the next two weeks, certainly by the 4th of July, we're not going to have cicadas anymore. Oh, it is kind of sad. Well, you know, a lot of them, of course, they died on impact on our windshields, but that's OK, though, right? I mean, because they had their chance to lay their eggs, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I think they had a spectacular season. Uh, I see a lot of eggs up in those trees. So I think the uh, class at 2038 is in good shape. We'll just have to wait another 17 years uh, to find out. But I think they had a spectacular year, year here in the DMV. OK, well, something I'm wondering, you mentioned the class of 2038. Uh, when they emerge in 2038, will they be brood 10 or is this brood 11? I mean, what are what are they called? No, it's it's brood 10. Uh, yeah, brood 10 is every 17 years. Uh, there are 15 broods of periodical cicadas. So in the next couple of years, we're going to have another brood up and out of the ground somewhere. Uh, nearby, but Route 10 will return to the Baltimore, the DMV in 2038. Okay, so before 2038, will there be another brood like with a shorter life cycle? Well, there are some 13 year broods. We have one in St. Mary's County that'll be up and out. That's Brood 19. We also have Brood 2, which will be in parts of Maryland. And uh, so there'll be some uh, other broods in between now and 2038. So if you're like me, uh, a cicada groupie are going to hop in the car, find out where that brood is and maybe take off for West Virginia or uh, parts of Virginia or Ohio where we're having another brood of cicadas. OK, so it's not all sad. You know, I mean, we, we can see some others. <laughs> what else sure. should we know as we say goodbye to our friends? Well, I think the question I'm getting all the time now is what should I do with their little bodies, with the exoskeletons, the shells, just leave them in place. They're providing tremendous nutrient inputs right now to the understory plants, to the trees from which they were spawned. We know they're going to fertilize those trees. We know they're going to fertilize the plants underneath those trees. So let them just stay in place. If they're getting a little stinky, you can rake them up and put them in your compost. But you don't have to worry. They'll decompose very nicely and help those plants. That's their next step. OK, very good information and good to know. All right. Thank you, Dr. Michael Rob. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure.